See how nice and crispy that is? Mmm. Did you hear the crunch? I know you heard the crunch. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. We are getting ready to make crispy, crispy fried chicken. We are not going to put any form of any oil in our skillet. We are not going to batter it and we are not using breadcrumbs. And guess what else? We are going to use our stove top. We are not cooking this in the oven. <laughs> We are getting ready to have the most amazing crispy fried chicken on the stove top with no oil, guys. Oh my goodness. Come with me, I'll show you what to do. Okay, first things first, it is so important that once we prep our chicken, season our chicken, that we head to the stove within minutes. So I'm gonna go over just a few things first before we bring out our chicken. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And for my channel members, oh my goodness, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. So the first thing you need is a non-stick skillet. I am using my Chef Foundry ceramic skillet. Now, if you all have been around at any length of time, you know I am a cast iron skillet lover. And can you use a cast iron skillet? You absolutely can. But because cast iron holds heat and it takes a while for the heat to calm down or cool down, you're going to have to watch that chicken even more. So personally, I prefer using a non-stick skillet and a ceramic skillet is the one that's my go-to. So I'll be using a ceramic skillet. You will also need to have a top that fits onto your skillet. If you don't have a top that fits onto your skillet, use a sheet tray on it, foil on it, or something you will need to cover it. Or a top that fits that goes to another set or something. And just put that on it. Doesn't matter, just cover it up, okay? I am using skin on bone in chicken thighs. You can pretty much use whatever part you want, but this is the most amazing for this particular recipe. You need your chicken to be completely dry. Clean your chicken, wash your chicken, take, take paper towels and dry your chicken. Now, I have had my chicken in the refrigerator calling it air dried, meaning it's super dry now. That's going to give you your most crispiest texture. But if you don't have the time to leave it in the refrigerator, mine has actually been in there for a couple of hours, then you can simply just go ahead and do it, making sure that you use paper towels to dry it off thoroughly both sides of it. Now, as far as washing the chicken, if you want to wash your chicken, wash it. I know there's a lot of controversy around, should I wash my chicken, should I not? You do you, I'm doing me, I wash my chicken. So, we have these pieces of chicken here. The next thing we want to do, you wanna take your chicken, and on the back side, we're going to make some slits. Just a couple on each side of the bone, just like that. Each side of the bone. Going about halfway through, but do not cut it all the way through. It should look something like that. You want to do this because it's going to allow your chicken to lay flat in the skillet because you want all of your skin to be flat in the skillet. Where seasonings go. We are only going to use salt and pepper. Now, if you don't want the sodium, you don't have to use the salt. That is gonna be completely up to you. I would advise using just a tad bit to bring out the flavor, but you don't have to. Use whatever you need for your diet, for your health reasons or whatever. Just don't like the salt. You don't have to use it. Just add a little black pepper. I personally am also going to be using some sea salt flakes in the end because I personally just like the presentation and I'm only adding just a few sprinkles here and there. Again, 
this right here is really, really optional. You don't have to do that at all, but I'm just letting you all know in advance what I'm doing. When it comes to the salt and pepper, you want to season according to your taste. So use however much pepper you want, use however much salt you want. If you don't want to use either, you don't have to. So there's not going to really be any ingredients down in the bottom. And as far as instructions, well, I'm telling you those now, okay? And one more thing before we move on and grab our chicken. I am recording in vertical mode. A lot of people say they can't see me. There should be a little square in the lower right hand corner of your device. If you will click that, then the screen will become full screen and I should cover your entire device, okay? So let's go get our chicken. So I'll do this piece again. Here is my bone going here. You just take a knife and cut a couple of slits here in each side of that bone being careful not to cut all the way through to your chicken. It should open up kind of like an accordion once you have it cut. You wanna go in and this is the time that you're gonna season it with your salt and pepper. I am using Himalayan salt, which has a lower sodium content than just your regular table salt or even sea salt. Black pepper and you kind of massage it in just a little bit. The thing about it is, is once you get this salt on it, you wanna be prepared to head to the stove really quickly. You don't want it to sit around with the salt because the salt is going to release water and it's going to make your chicken wet again. Very important, you need to start with a cold skillet. Do not heat your skillet up at all. Put your skillet on the stove, turn it on, and immediately put your chicken in it while your skillet is cold. My skillet is on medium high heat. Put your chicken in the skillet skin side down. Just like that. Yes, in a cold skillet. Don't overcrowd it. So if you don't feel like your skillet has enough room, go ahead and use it. Cook in batches. Cook in batches. So I'm just going to put four pieces in here. It will shrink some as it's cooking. My stove is on medium high heat. Grab your top and put your top on it. We are going to cook this untouched for approximately 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay guys, this is the hard part. During the first 10 minutes, just waiting, you know you wanna lift that top. Don't do it. This is the time it needs to stay covered. This is also the time that the natural juices and fats from the chicken are leaching out, coming out into your skillet. You need that time for the magic to happen. So don't touch it, don't peek. If you have a top that you can see through, you can look that way, but don't lift it up. We'll be back. Okay, so now we are at the 10 minute mark. We are not going to turn it over or do anything but take the top off of it. Once you remove the top, we're going to continue to cook it for an additional 10 minutes, uncovered and untouched. Do not turn it over, do not disturb it, just let it cook, uncovered for an additional 10 minutes. Okay, so we are at the end of our initial 20 minutes here, or our 20 minutes, so we're going to flip it over to the flesh side. I want you all to see how nice and golden brown that is. Ooh, look at the juices running out. Okay, now we're going to cook it on the flesh side until it's cooked through. That's going to be probably another five minutes, depending on your stove and the sizes of your pieces of chicken. No matter how you're cooking it, make sure you don't sit it directly on paper towels, but a wire rack. We need this to cool for at least about three to four minutes and just rest. Look at that golden brown. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Mm. 
You're all done. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness. Look at how nice and crispy that is. First, before we do anything, I want you guys to listen. See how nice and crispy that is? Oh my goodness. Ooh, we're going to get us a piece. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome once again. Please take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Oh my goodness. Nice and crispy. Ooh, look at that. Nice and juicy as well. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness, you can still see the steam coming out of it. Hear that when I cut? Did you hear that crunch? I know y'all heard that crunch. Oh, it's still just a little bit hot. All my returning subscribers, thank you all so much for coming back yet once again. And my channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Oh, we gotta taste this. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm -mm. All you need is a little salt and pepper. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's juicy. We use no oils. Outside of the oil that came out of the chicken, we added no oil. Mm. No batter, no breadcrumbs. And oh my goodness, we cooked it on top of the stove, y'all. Come on now. <laughs> mm. You all need to make this dish. Let me know in the comments if you are going to make this dish. Mm. Did you hear the crunch? I know you heard the crunch. Mm, mm, mm. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creep don't rise. Bye bye.